Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's uh, Fifty Free. Today I'm going to do a um, um, shopping haul video. So I went to this new store, Sephora, which opened recently at uh, Chumside, and I purchased some really good product to show you guys. And I can't wait. Just let's just get started. So the first thing is, um, I'm in love with this. Um, uh, liquid lipstick that is from Anastasia Beverly Hills and it's so good that, that's the one that I'm wearing today um, Sarah Fine so if you like the look that I'm putting on today you can go ahead and buy that from Sephora and it's Sarah Fine look how pretty they are it's dark it's um, matte and it's much proof and also waterproof so it's a long lasting um, liquid lipstick by Anastasia and the other product that I'm going to show you guys is this cute stuff like look at that it's really cute so I've heard a lot about uh, this brow gel this is a car brow from by benefits and you can you can find it in Sephora as well so yeah, it's a brow gel. It's kind of similar to Anastasia Deep Brow um, Gel, but it's much cloudier. I would say it's like um, um, it's kind of mixture of your eyeshadow and a gel. So yeah, it's pretty good product. It comes in this tiny kind of thing and I got it in shade 4 which is dark milk chocolate shade and it has the lid on top which is a brush as well so it comes with this tiny brush to apply and it's a high quality brush I must say because um, yeah the, the line that it draws are really good and really precise and the product itself is really highly pigmented so it's it's really good like it's really good that's what I'm putting on today as you can see my eyebrows are looking really dark and nice and good yeah. and the next product that I'm gonna show you guys is this thing I think you've heard about this it's a Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Cover Concealer so I have heard a lot before buying it. Like I heard magic about this. Everyone was talking about how it covers your dark circles, all your spots and all that. So I was dying to buy this product no matter what. Like I must say this is really really good. Like I really have a dark circle like it's a really dark one it doesn't I can't see blue or purplish underneath but it's just dark like it's just a dark undertone on my skin as you can see because I wear glasses if you didn't know that I do wear glasses so um, obviously you tend to have a, a dark circle when you're wearing glasses and when you have an eyesight problem so um, that might be it but yeah my dark circles are really dark and um, it doesn't have undertone to it so I can't really like uh, um, play with the colors that um, in a concealer palette you know how they, they, they have this uh, concealer palette where you can color color correct on your face and I really don't know how to do that because uh, my under eyes or any spot that I have doesn't have undertone to it it's just a darker shade of my skin so but this one that I got it's in the R40 so it's pretty much a little bit lighter than my skin if you can tell it's pretty much uh, like the skin here is pretty bright but my facial skin is a bit dark because I'm using foundation anyway today but yeah it's a little bit lighter but it's not way light it's like only one shade lighter than my skin tone so yeah but it works so well and it's so light that's the best thing about this HD concealer it's so light it doesn't feel like you're putting tons of uh, like product in your 
face because you put the um, foundation and then after that you put the concealer and you put the highlighter and everything and it just it just feels like you have a lot of layers of product going on in your face but yeah this one feels really light and I'm wearing it today as well so yeah that's the third product that I bought and the other one is this so I think you have heard about this foundation a lot because um, I did as well but um, to be honest I really don't like putting foundation on my face because I still think that foundation is really high coverage and it's um, it has a lot of um, what do you call it formula and chemicals in it that makes your face looks uh, look different and it will have a side effect that's what I used to think when I used to think of foundation so I always went with moisturizer BB cream that's the one that's less from foundation so yeah I I never was into foundation very much but then I thought that I was getting a bit older and now it's the age to apply a foundation so I went ahead and bought this double wear Estee Lauder SPF 10 foundation um, it's um, it's 30 ml and um, the shade that I got was Spice, Spice Sand 4 in 2 so it looked really nice when the girl at the store applied on me and I thought it was a proper shade like it was actually the same shade of my neck and um, my, my body so I, it was it was pretty impressive so I just got it and but when I applied at home it felt like it's a little bit darker than what, what I usually use and I like keeping it a little bit brighter so that you can have that bright healthy skin glow like so yeah this was one shade darker I must say but I still love the product now what I do is I just I just add in a little bit of my brighter foundation or BB cream and it makes the shade pretty good and that's what I'm wearing today I'm wearing it with my um, BB cream and a little bit of argan oil mixed with it like if you haven't tried your foundation with some kind of oil oh my god guys you gotta do it it's it works like wonder like, you'll see the difference right away so yeah you never want to go back to what you used to do with your foundation so that's what I do and I don't regret buying that um, foundation even if it's a uh, um, one shade darker than my skin but it's so amazing like it's um it's so light it feels pretty much like a natural skin on top of uh, the skin it doesn't feel like a layer of a thick foundation so it's it gives you that really smooth um, finish on your face so it's a really good product to have I would definitely recommend that it's Estee Lauder double wear foundation and it has SPF 10. I also got the primer of the same Estee Lauder, the Mattifier Sign Control Perfecting Primer. So that's my primer and that's a foundation. They both are um, same brand, Estee Lauder, and um, they are a bit pricey. So foundation was like $68 and the primer was $52 or something. 50 something dollars so yeah the total was about hundred dollars guys I don't really like to spend so much money on a, a brand if you know what I mean but yeah like foundation are always expensive so I did expect that when I was going for it um, but yeah it's, it's worth the price that I paid so that's the other product the, one is um, this eyeshadow by Giorgio Armani Eye to Kill and this has been hyped um, years back um, but I never get a chance to buy it but I did buy it this time and the product itself is 
gorgeous. Like, it comes in this tiny jar kind of thing. The jar is very tiny. It has this cover kind of thing on the top. You take that off and there you go. You can just see the number. It's five and it says ice to kill. So it's, it's this coppery, golden, sparkly eyeshadow. Um, yeah. So yeah, that was all for today and uh, well, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you have any questions, if you have any suggestion to make, please comment down below. I would love to hear from you guys. Um, and yeah, also if you have any experience of the same product and the, and the story of how you went with it and what happened, you can always share that on the comment below. I would love to hear your stories and share my laugh as well. And yeah, guys, if you haven't subscribed me yet, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, that would mean a lot to me. And uh, like my video, share it if you want. And um, stay tuned. I'll come up with more videos in the coming up days. Um, and lastly, thank you so much again for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!